Doom 2016 or Doom 4 is that rarest of things. A single player first person shooter campaign that is actually very, very good. If a little repetitive with, I think, a really great ending. But it's definitely worth considering buying when it's in the sales for, I don't know, say £30 or less. You won't be buying Doom for the multiplayer. It's okay and quite fun when you get used to the mechanics, but in a world of games like Overwatch, Battlefield and Call of Duty, there are better places to spend your online time. When you first start playing Doom and bask in the silky smooth movement, the superb gunplay and the atmospheric environment, you'll start thinking that this could be the best first person shooter you've played for a long, long time or even the best FPS you've ever played. You see, Doom rewards aggressive gameplay. There's no ducking behind cover to reload your weapons because there's no reloading. And if you kill your weakened enemies with a melee attack glory kill, you're awarded with more life. And then if you go the whole hog and chop up the demons with your chainsaw, you get even more power-ups that way too. I've heard people say that this version of Doom isn't scary, but I'd have to disagree. The map's music, and especially the sound effects in the run-up to enemy encounters, ratchet up the tension so that when a demon finally does appear, and when I say demon, I mean loads of demons finally appear, I guarantee you will jump at least once in the game. The story itself is a simple one, with a minimum of cutscenes and dialogue. It's all about driving forward, exploring, clearing an area of demons, finding the odd key and secret area, then going on to the next level. That's not to say there isn't a rich backstory and context for the game. If you want to spend the time, you can dip into the codex and read all about the characters, locations and monsters in the game as you unlock the various entries. I cannot praise enough the level design in Doom. The places you fight through have so much thought and detail put into them, it is a crying shame just to rush through. Before you encounter the escapees from hell, or after you've cleared an area, take a few minutes just to wander around and take it all in. The views of Mars or hell in the distance, or the painstaking work that must go in to creating these spaces to create an immersive virtual world. There is, however, a drawback to Doom, but that might be the wrong word. It's a restriction to Doom, which you could argue is why it's so good in the first place, and that is that it does get a bit repetitive in the second half. Sure, you're encountering different demons in more challenging situations, and lots more of them, but the mechanic is still the same. It's not that it isn't fun. It's just that it gets a bit draining because you've got to concentrate so hard on switching weapons, gathering ammo and armour and then laying into your opponents at the right time. I never feel bored when I'm in the game, but after a particularly hectic level, I, you know, I've just got to save and quit. And sometimes when I'm thinking about playing Doom, I catch myself pausing and thinking and questioning whether I'm ready for that onslaught, the balls to the wall kill fest that is Doom 2016. However, I've got to say that all my reservations and second thoughts about Doom 2016 evaporated when I played the last boss and saw the ending. Few games can send, send a shiver down your spine, but the ending of Doom 2016 definitely does, and just like the original has you aching already for the sequel. So. All in all, even if you're not a fan of first-person shooter campaigns and are more of a multiplayer fan, grab yourself a copy of Doom, especially if it's in the sales. Play it on Hurt Me Plenty until you get stuck, then switch to the much easier I'm Too Young To Die, and then play the game one level at a time rather than in marathon sessions, and I'm sure you'll come to appreciate Doom 2016 or Doom 4 as one of the best first-person shooter campaigns we've had in a long, long time. Okay, so that's enough from me. Please put any questions or comments down below. Hit like if you enjoy the video. Subscribe if you'd like to see more of the same. Thank you very, very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.